Never, ever, 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 ever send men photos without your clothes on. Don't do it. Don't send it to your boyfriend, your husband, even your husband. Because some of y'all are going to marry a man and then you're going to find out like 15 years later that he sucks and you can't get that photo back. Don't send it to any men ever. There's several reasons why. Look at my dog on my computer right now. I'm going to tag my mutual. It reminded me of how terrified I am on a regular basis. But the first reason that may, some of y'all may not even realize is that if as soon as you send these men a photo of you, you're not ever gonna see them. I mean, not always, I cannot tell you how many times these men would text back and forth, you know, and I just wanted to hook up. I just wanted to hook up. That's all I wanted, no relationship. No, not even a schmegs friendship, literally just a one night stand. And I'd be like, man, back and forth, and it's exhausting. These men are exhausting, okay? And then boom, they send a photo of themselves. And I'm like, oh, whoa, we've escalated here. Now, I know that I don't have to send a photo back, but men purposely send you a photo because they are weaponizing patriarchy against you. They know, they know that women have a hard time saying no. They know also that we feel bad if we have something intimate of, of them and they don't have something of us. Like, that, they're playing, they're hoping you will feel bad, like it's unequal, now that you have this very vulnerable photo of them and they're counting on you to even it up. Don't do it. Because the thing is, is even if you just wanna hook up, like that's what I wanted. They ain't coming over, baby. You have now become an OnlyFans account, but you're not getting paid. And you don't have any protection that you may have on OnlyFans because they're also never deleting that photo, ever. And they're gonna show their friends, all of them. Like, not even like, hey, look, they're gonna send it to their friends. But despite all that, they're not even gonna come over and eat your, they're not, they're not doing it. Why would they? Men are lazy, they are so lazy. They would literally rather have corn that is a catered to them, which is what you've given them. And then they just like, you know, get themselves off. They don't have to spend any time, energy, gas money. They don't have to take you to dinner. They don't have to talk to you, talk, talk, talk. they don't have to listen to you. Ugh. They literally have exactly what they, they have your body right in their hands and they're just gonna drive home. Let's get it over with. Done. <whistles> Every time I send a man a photo as like a teaser, Hope, you know, before he came over, I would get a text later on being like, you know what, I'm actually tired. You know why he's tired? Because he just went off to that. He doesn't need you anymore. So all that time wasted going back and forth with the text, once you send that photo, it's done. You've basically slept with him. In his mind, you slept with him. You'll never see him. You cannot get that time back and you cannot get that picture back. And unfortunately, there is not laws to protect you. Some states, yes, but in general, there's not a whole lot of recourse for you. You'll never even know who all they send it to, which friends they send it to, and it's gonna be a lot. And again, they will never erase it. It's like some of them are like sociopath, like un serial unalivers who just collect little things, you know, just line them up, you know? Those pictures are like a part of their like, dear diary, a little slash on their headboard, a name in their black book, except this time they didn't have to do jack to get it because you sent that photo. And then at the end of the day, what you have is constant stress for the rest of your life, not knowing when and if those dudes that you maybe, you you didn't even meet are gonna release those. There, I don't even know how many men have photos of me out there. I'm actually shocked that none of them have done anything with them yet. Maybe they're too scared by now because of the laws changing in our favor. Um, but my ex, I mean, the thing is, is that even, even if you don't send a photo, what could happen to you is what happened to me. My ex took a photo of me while I was asleep and I actually woke up because I felt my underwear moving and I was like, what is that? And then I felt like, I, I thought, I was like, what is going on? Intuitively, I knew something was up, but I just froze instead and I was like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. And then after we broke up, he used that photo of my uh, vulva as his backdrop and his avatar on Twitter. And then he tweeted at me, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show you all receipts. I can show you all this. Luckily, I was in California at the time. I had just moved to California to get away from him. And I reported it to Twitter as revenge corn. And they closed his account. But this dude 
still has all those photos. And if you can't resist the temptation, don't have your head in the photo. Please, if you're gonna send a photo, don't have your head in it or any identifying markers, like a tattoo in a certain area. Then they can't prove it's you. But once your head's in it, you're gonna live in fear for the rest of your life. Now, again, I just kind of have accepted that whatever, I can't control it. But I wish somebody had warned me. And at the very least, don't send them the photos because they're lazy and you're not gonna get laid anyway. <laughs> so it's always time.